What's going on everybody? Gunner here and today I want to add kind of like a bonus, a two-part bonus series to the beginner predator fly series. So if you haven't watched that, go watch that because what we're going to do is we're going to freestyle over that bulkhead platform. So if you know how to tie a bulkhead, you're good to go. Um, the reason why it's a two-part series is because we're going to use the exact same material list. We're going to use short trashy bucktail. So this is a cool thing to do if you have short trashy bucktail in olive. I'm going to use Accent flash boo. Uh, technically, I'm going to use two different colors, but you can just get away with if you got like root beer, that would work for both. Accent flash boo. And then we're going to come in with a marabou soft hackle patch, which is from Hairline. This is like a random piece of a chicken. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's like a bunch of soft hackle. You get some like saltwater streamer stuff up here. There's some really cool dry fly hackles on here. It's like a really wide assortment, ton of variants. So you get to pick and choose, uh, but that comes in handy because we're going to have like uh, feet. We're going to do a frog fly. So you're going to have your kicking legs and then you also need soft hackle little hands and like, you know, trailing arms. Uh, so we're going to use both sizes and then we're going to do a crayfish. We're going to have a jig, a bulkhead jig, but it's going to be reverse bulkhead, meaning it's going to have a fat butt and a skinny tip because we're going to taper it down the same way a crayfish tapers. And we're going to use soft hackle uh, really to clean up the head and, and fill in that dead space to create our taper and get a little bit of movement and barring. So it's really nice product with a lot of variants that you can use to do a lot of stuff. Definitely recommend picking them out in person just so you have more control. But that's it. So those three materials, uh, bulkhead technique. I love the bulkhead technique because it really allows you to tailor your silhouette to what you're doing. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, jump in and tie a bulkhead swimming frog. Uh, I guess because it's a bulkhead, you, it will technically float for a little bit. <laughs> it's designed for a full sinking line, basically for seven weights and up. It'll cast really well on about an eight weight. Full sinking line, short leader with bite tippet. Reason why, if you're in northern Wisconsin or northern Minnesota, like where I am, and you might fish the Namekagan or the St. Croix or the Mississippi or whatever else, the Wisconsin River, you have some classic trophy smallmouth musky water. You fish this sucker on bite tippet late spring, throughout the summer, into early fall during the frog migrations. You have the shot at that 20 inch class smallmouth and a musky on the same fly and it's a beautiful like six inch absolute hog like bullfrog imitation. Absolutely picture perfect. So we're gonna tie a bulkhead, 140 power thread, trashy short bucktail, some hackles, accent flash. Let's do it. All right, guys. So jumping into this frog, and it's again, it's a swimming frog. So it's designed for you know seven, eight weight, two fifty, three hundred grain, full sinking lines. I'm tying on a two aught Arex TP six ten. Absolutely beautiful predator hook, perfect size and gap for this. And really just coming in with some trashy short bucktail. I've used most of it. I'm actually going to get into some of the stuff on the back. Not like intentionally, but I'll come to the side and, and if I get some brown fibers in there, that's totally fine, right? And on the frogs and the crayfish, a little bit of modeling is perfectly uh, even good. It's beneficial even to the overall fly because frogs and crayfish tend to be modeled, right? It's, it's a perfect happy accident. Um, so I'm just, uh, and basically all we're going to do is tie a bulkhead from all the way in the back all the way to the front. And you're going to see the bulkhead, I'm going to kind of uh, make the butt ends, the, the typical thing that we're going to reverse tie here. I'm going to make them a little bit longer than I normally would. And there's a reason for it. And it's just, I'm not, I'm not worried about that uh, elegant uh, bait fish taper, that elegant bait fish silhouette. I'm really solely trying to build a short, fat, chunky bullfrog body, which should really only be about my shank length, right? So it's that bulkhead keeping the tips really short, flaring the butts, and leaving the butts nice and long is going to build an absolute perfect bullfrog silhouette. And all we're going to do is, just like normal, feather that in so we don't have the clean edge. But again, I'm going to leave them nice and long. And the reason why I didn't do a straight tie in the back is, I, you know, that would be kind of weird looking <laughs> on a bullfrog. It's not a bait fish silhouette, so you just have to remove your mind from that initial uh, bulkhead platform. 
And what we're going to use is we're going to use this to flare some Marabou Soft Hackle legs. And so, again, I talked about this has a ton of variants, right? A ton of variants. So we have like short Soft Hackle down here, like a hen, and we're going to use that for frog arms. And then it has like this big meaty, almost like saltwatery schloppen type stuff. And that's what we're using for legs. And the legs are going to flare away from each other. So they're not going to be cupped and paired, but they're going to splay away. And I'm going to use that initial bump to help flare the legs. And I'm just going to pin it directly to, let's see if I can catch that and pin that the way I want, directly to the side of my hook shank. Picture perfect, absolutely picture perfect. So when you get uh, far back in a hackle stem, it usually kind of rounds out and even flattens so that it runs the same orientation as your feather. And I just hit that with my scissors, give it a little love so it's nice and flat, and then I can put my legs exactly where I want them, and I'm not worried about them twisting uh, on the tie-in point and, and trying to get the correct orientation. I have nice, flat outside legs. And then I'm gonna come in simply with my Flashaboo accent, my accent flash. This is like a nice aqua -y frog color. And just to keep it absolutely dead simple, I'm literally just gonna throw this 50-50 over my thread, kind of right over the whole back of the fly. And then I'll just draw it so that some of it's over one leg, some of it's over the other leg. And that is that. So the rest of the the rest of the fly, the rest of the frog, is just going to be a nice aggressive kind of long butt bulkhead and we're going to do two in a row on that that second to last one we're going to put our frog arms on it and because this is for potentially pike and musky as well i can hit that with some super glue um, and then we're just going to finish it off with uh, bucktail so it's a really straightforward uh, addition to the predator beginner predator fly series uh, and it allows you to use, you know, kind of what might be like a junk bucktail and it gives you a totally different silhouette and matches a totally different forage. And obviously this might depend on where you are, uh, but up here in my neck of the woods, uh, this is an absolute must for a summer predator fly. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, excited to... I mean, it's so simple and it's so effective and the silhouette is so accurate and that, that water push hydraulic mixed with these big kicking frog legs is, I mean, it's everything you'd ever want. The bulkhead style platform is so absolutely picture perfect for sculpting a frog on and just having that big fat body fishing it on a full sinking line. It, it looks exactly like a frog that jumped off the bank into the water and is immediately trying to dive down and look for a place to hide because he knows he's extremely vulnerable. The, the whole action, the whole situation is accurate. So it's a really cool pattern. And something I just came in with, and I'm, I, might, I know I mentioned this when I was down in Brazil, but they make tools uh, for reverse tying bucktail. And what I just used is a tool called a, a protojohn. And it's a, it's, a, it's a tool designed to help you reverse tie bucktail. And it has little tiny, uh, it's like it's grooved on the inside, if you can see that. I know that's overexposed, but it's grooved on the inside. Uh, instead of like a pen cap, which is round, it has little tiny arches and ridgeways so that you can control your bucktail and stop it from crisscrossing, which is extremely helpful, especially when you have long butts like this. Get that down, come in with my protojohn here.
So I'm going to leave this one nice and flat. Take my soft tackles here, just pinch my stem a little bit, and I'm actually going to run them so that they are paired up against the side. Well, shoot, maybe I will flare them. Didn't have quite the silhouette I wanted. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. I'm going to flare these ones. Pinch that one. Pin that right to the side. Pinch that. Hold that. Keep the orientation nice and flat and wide. Come out for a final bulkhead tie. This, I'm going to finish it with a little bit heavy stack here. And you could totally integrate flash throughout the fly. You know, frogs tend to be pretty shiny and reflective, but just keeping it bare bones and keeping it completely simple. Not going to put eyes on it, not going to do anything fancy. It's just absolute silhouette, water push, frog leg kicking. thing I am going to do before I super glue this is I'm going to hit those last threads with a sharpie. Technically it's a chart pack marker. Just hide that white head up there and then feather this out. This is embarrassing. I don't know if you can see this, but my I cut my th tying thread. <laughs> cut my tying thread with my scissors when I was shaping my bulkhead. Whoopsie daisies. So you know you got a sharp pair of scissors right there. Fast, easy, absolutely perfect bullfrog silhouette, leopard frog silhouette. Nice, long, big kicking legs. The legs should be like uh, at least the body again, like a full length of the body should be the length of the legs. Um, soft tackles coming off the sides, looking like trailing arms. See if I can get you like that in the natural tone. It's not gonna work. Got no light outside and my light's overexposing it, but <clears throat> you get the idea, you get the gist. That is the northern Minnesota, Wisconsin kicking bulkhead bullfrog. Wicked simple. Pike, smallmouth, musky, eight weight, full sink, letter rip. <laughs> so, check out part two, and I'll show you guys how to adapt that bulkhead silhouette. Uh, and the same material list to a crayfish body on the jig platform. So check it out, follow the link, let's do it.